What's up, everyone? Game Master 468 here for the next part of my Toy Story 2 walkthrough. If you remember from last time, we just defeated the first boss of the game in a rather short video that we did, uh, which was this airplane thing that was totally in the movie. Totally, totally was. Totally, totally was in the movie. They also totally went to a construction yard. For real. Really. Wait, speaking of that, this, that, that's the next level we're gonna go into. We're gonna go into the level of the construction yard and get our next batch of Pizza Planet tokens. So. Let's, just, let's, let's do that. Let's do that, bro. <laughs> Alright, so the first Pizza Planet token we're gonna get is the secret Pizza Planet token. Which is in this building over here. Gonna go into this thing. The door's just gonna open up for us, because that's how physics work. Here we go. Gonna grab some of these coins along the way. I landed into the, the green acid. Someone needs to do something about all this green acid that's everywhere. It's not it's not a fun time, man. Like, come on. Gotta, gotta, gotta clean up your stuff, man. Alright, so we gotta do a bit of platforming on these drawers that have, like, really weird timing to them. There's one of those things that we need to collect five of for this level. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So, here we have a puzzle that we need to do. As you can see, we have these pictures of paint cans here. We need to fill up the can this can over here with the colors that are on the wall. But as you can see, we have none of the colors that are displayed uh, over here on this picture here. So we need to create our own by mixing the paint together. So, what we gotta do is, well, we gotta do just that. We gotta mix paint together in order to make the colors that we need. I think first we're gonna make the uh, color green. So we're gonna start by uh, filling this up with yellow. I'm gonna move this up to the blue. And there we go. That makes green. Really simple puzzle. Pretty sure anyone under the age of like... I don't know, uh, over the age of like 8 can figure this out. So, it's pretty, pretty simple stuff. Alright, next we're gonna make the color orange. Fit, oh, oopsie. Okay, thank goodness it empties. Alright, I accidentally pressed that button twice. Alright, so... First gotta fill it up with red paint. Then we gotta fill it up with yellow paint. There we go. Now let's just move it underneath the orange picture. There we go. So last, we need to make the color purple. So let's do that. Hmm. Uh. Go over here. Boom. I made orange again. Oops, I pushed it way too far. Oopsie daisy. Can I... Uh-oh. Can I... Can I... Did... Okay, I just... I just made orange again. Okay. Oops, I'm gonna cut that out. Because that, that was... That was... That was an oopsie on my part. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, let's try that again. Red... Blue. There we go. Okay. That was, that was, that was a derpy derp on my part, guys. Alright, there we go. We made the colors again. Alright, so now all three colors are mixed together. We've got our first Pizza Planet token. Awesome. Alright. Next, we're gonna do the racing challenge of this level. We're gonna go over here in the middle of nowhere. Gonna destroy this random wherever the heck it is thing again. We also have new enemies here in this level, as you'll see. We have these spaceship laser shooting guys. When they get close to you, they're gonna shoot a long string of a laser. I'm gonna slowly m move towards you to try to hit you with it. And I don't know if they. S no, they don't really stop. Oh, they stop after a while, okay. So, uh, yeah, just gotta avoid those guys and, uh, just keep shooting them a few times through laser and you'll be good. Alright, so here we got Slinky here. He's got a challenge for us. If you can find five missing wrenches and bring them to me in time, I will give you a Pizza Planet token. So, we have a time limit. Oh, I didn't want to talk to you again. We have a time limit to get all these wrenches here. So we need to move around in the cement here. I just double jump to move through it faster. Alright, we get to collect five wrenches before time runs out. Or we got three of them. Four. Alright. Now we need the fifth one. Oh dear, no. 
Get away from me. I don't want your money. I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we got five of the wrenches. Let's go ahead and give them the slink. Thanks, dude. You found all the wrenches. Here's your pizza planet token. Thanks, dude. Got it. Alright. So next we're gonna get the mini boss at this level. But, uh, we're kind of in a bit of a predicament because we can't really get to the... We can't really fight the boss entirely yet because we need a power-up that we need to get. And the power-up we need is over here. Alright, we need to get this thing, which is the disc launcher. Yeah, man. Alright, so we need, in order to defeat the jackhammer boss, we need this power-up. The laser is not going to affect the jackhammer boss. So, yeah, we're gonna have to get the, uh, I believe it was his eye that we need to get. I believe that's what he said. Alright, so we're gonna have to make two trips during this challenge. Uh, the boss is at the top of this giant construction site thing. Yes, it's another one of those challenges where if you fall down, your, your furnace falling all the way down. You have to do the climb over again. Well, thankfully, there is an elevator that you can activate so you don't have to do all of the challenge again. So, that's good, I suppose. Still kind of annoying, though. Alright, so, we're gonna run through here. Alright, just a basic platforming challenge we need to do. Nothing too crazy and wild. But we do have these things. These red-hot screws that are just falling out of nowhere. Gotta avoid those, because they will hurt you. Alright, if we slam down on these uh, switches here, it will activate an elevator so that if we fall down, we can just ride it back up to where we were last time. So that'll be super helpful. Gotta go onto those platforms thing and slant them to the side so that we uh, can get up to where we need to be. That was a nice little ballerina twirl that that guy was doing there. <laughs> Alrighty. Grabbing tokens, oh yeah. Okay, avoid that thing. Here's switch number two. Alright. I get hit by the red hot screw. Over here. I believe the the Mr. Toehead's eyes on the third floor. I almost fell down. That would have been bad. No time to lose. No time to lose. Alright, can you can you like move? Can you like go? Can you can you like there we go. Eh. Right. We should be getting close to uh Miss Potato Head's eye at this point. Shouldn't be too much further. Right. Got a bit of a challenge when you jump onto one pole from the other. Yeah, watch out for those screws, because they're bad. Alright, we got it! So before we jump down, let's go ahead and hit this last switch so we can activate the elevator and we can ride it to the top. Alright, so, now we just gotta jump down, because we can't do anything more past that point. I mean, you could, but when you get to the boss, you'll just you'll just be wasting your time, basically. Because you don't have the thing that you need in order to progress. Get this guy out of the way so we can get its coin. It should be noted, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but... If you kill an enemy for the first time in a level, they'll give you a coin. But then when they respawn and you kill them again, it won't give you another coin. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. That might help you a little bit when you're, uh... Trying to get all 50 coins for Ham's Pizza Plant token. And now we have the Disc Launcher. Whenever you collect those, instead of firing lasers, you'll fire Disc Launchers. It's pretty awesome. They'll kind of hone, hone in on any uh, enemy that's nearby, which is pretty cool. So now that we got that, let's go back to the uh, construction area. I guess we're still in the construction area, but you know what I mean. Let's go back to uh, where we were before we fell off. Alright, there's our elevator. Let's jump on it. Gotta ride it all the way to the top. No time to lose. No time to lose. Alright, so here we are. This is exactly where we left off last time. Sweetness. Alright, it's gonna not worry about those. I'm gonna kinda conserve my, uh, disc launchers for this mini-boss. We got plenty, uh, 
spare, but, you know, might as well. Might as well hold on to him. Eh, 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 eh. Alright, so, here's our another disc launcher over here. Alright, so the mini boss that we need to fight is right over here. Alright, defeat the jackhammer boss to get a pizza planet token. I hope you have the disc launcher. Alright, they're really hammering in the fact that you need the disc launcher. So, um, yeah, he's just gonna kind of chase after you and throw those red hot screws at you some more. So, careful of that. Alright, I'm gonna go and grab another disc launcher and then I can show you how to beat this boss. It's really complex, guys. Alright, I, I, I guess I went the wrong direction when trying to get the disc launcher. This should be over here. Alright, so here we go. So we have 30 disc launchers, guys. So here we go. This is super intense. All you have to do in order to beat this boss, alright? So first you need to stand in place and then spam your disc launchers until the boss dies. That was a complex strategy, right, guys? <laughs> alright, so here we go. That's uh, Pizza Planet token number three. Alright, so next I think we can go ahead and get five of a thing. Uh, we need to get those, I'm not really sure what they're called, I think those are the egg things. Or at least a form of those egg things, I don't know, it's whatever these things are. Uh, these are little miniature construction workers, they're toys that work at the construction site, I guess. We need to collect five of them. The first one's right over here at the very top of the construction site. Can I save it? Oh, snap! I saved it, bro. That was awesome. That was, that was cool. That was cool. Gotta, gotta, gotta give me some props, man. See that again, slow motion. Oh, snap! I saved it, bro. Anyway, the second one is over here, uh, right at the first floor of the uh, construction site climbing challenge. Alright, the third one is inside this... Uh, Forklift, I believe is what it's called. There it is right here. In this building where we have the paint bucket puzzle. As soon as we kill this guy. Right, there should be a guy hopping around at the top of that thing there. So let's just jump over here. There we go. And the final little construction worker is actually right along the path where Ham is. So we're gonna you know, kill two birds with one stone, basically. Right, as you can see, it's right across from, uh, where the building is, where we have that paint bucket challenge. Got this cinder block over here that we need to push. And we also have the last token that we need. Not token, coin that we need. Right over there, there we go. And here's the last construction worker. Got it! Alright, so let's go ahead and get the, uh, pizza plant token from Ham. And then we'll, uh, send in those, uh, construction worker guys to get the last pizza plant token. Alright, the construction worker they need to give these guys to is right over here, and there's the green laser if you want it. We're not gonna get it, though, because, like I said, we're done with this level, basically. And, there we go! Thanks for finding my little tykes, Buzz! Here is a pizza planet token! Alright, so there we go! We are done with this level! But, we're not quite done with this video yet, though. We're actually going to be doing another level in this video, but not for very long. As I'll explain briefly in a little bit. But there we go, there's all the tokens that we got. I'm just going to press X to skip through the rest of that, because you can kind of get the point at this point. Alright. So here we are, we're on the second level, not the second level. Uh, the one, two, three, four, fifth level. Fifth level of the game, alleys and goalies. Alright, so... The thing about this level is we're not going to be able to get every single Pizza Planet token in this level quite yet. There's two that we're unable to get to right now. We could also get hams, because that, that would make three tokens that we could get in this level, but I'm only going to get two tokens in this level right now, because I kind of don't want to get 50 coins at the moment. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're only going to be getting two Pizza Planet tokens in this level right now, and then we're going to have to come back later and get the rest afterwards. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get two here. We're going to get the race token, and then we're going to get the secret Pizza Planet token. Also, the thing about Rex, listen over here. Hey Rex, what's up? 
Call my name. What is up with the guy's voice actor in this game? <laughs> I am almost certain that's not the same voice actor who voiced Rex, Rex in the movie. My, I have no idea why they made him sound so psychotic in this. But it, it, it bothers me, and it kind of creeps me out, and I would prefer it if that guy never voiced this green dinosaur ever again. That that would be great. Alright, so we gotta do some platform to get over here. Slinky Dog has another challenge for us. We gotta get five of another thing for him. This time we need to get Bones, which I guess makes sense, because he is a dog after all. I believe this is another one of those challenges where they intended you to use the rocket boots for it. But we're not going to do that because there's a, a uh, strategy you can use with this. You can just jump towards the bones and then just double jump your way back onto the platform safely. And then you should be able to beat this with no problem. There we go. As you can see, we did that with plenty of time to spare. That was super easy. Alright, there's the first pizza plant token for this level. Grab that. Alright, so we're pretty much done here. There's some other stuff you can do in this level later. But we're going to have to come back... Here later to do that, like I said. Alright, so we're out of here. For now, let's go ahead and get the secret Pizza Planet token, and then we'll be done with this video. So let's just run through here. As you can see, we have a couple new enemies here. Uh, we have these airplane things, and this thing will infinitely spawn airplanes. Uh, what you want to do is you just want to keep uh, attacking the box until it explodes, because otherwise it's just going to keep spawning airplanes over and over. So yeah, just keep doing that, and then it'll stop showing, uh, shooting out airplanes. And then we have this thing. I don't know what it is. It looks like some sort of bobsled thing, but I'm not, I, I don't know. I don't know what the heck that thing's supposed to be. But I guess it doesn't matter, because it only appears in this one level. So, yeah, I don't get it. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It just looks really weird. I'm just going to call it a bobsled, because it kind of looks like a bobsled. So, whatever. Alright, we have a little challenge here where there's going to be electricity running through the zip line. So you have to make sure you time your jump onto the zip line correctly. Alright, so the secret pizza plant token is in this area. I'm going to climb on top of these watermelons. And here we have another new enemy. You can see them off in the distance. Uh, unlike most enemies, you actually can't kill them with your laser. As you can see, it just reflects it back at you. So what you need to do is you need to defeat these enemies using your spin attack. Or the ground pound, apparently. That works too. As you can see, there's a little yellow spark that, uh, came off of him when we hit him there. That means, uh, that you laid a hit on him with your spin attack. Uh, but I fell off there when I, when I did that. So we're gonna try that again. The thing is, like, as you can see, he's on a really tiny platform, and he can easily knock you off. Which is not a fun time, obviously. Right, so what we need to do... The pizza plant token is over there on that trash can in the distance over there. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't, because it's, uh... Yeah, you can. Let's see if I can get a good look at it from here. Yeah, there you go. You can see it's sparkling off in the distance. There's no way to jump onto there, as you can see, so what you need to do is you need to hitch a ride on these balloons. But they're kind of just staying in place, so they can't really get anywhere. So we're going to turn on the fan, and then now blow the balloons forward so that we can get the pizza plant token. We're going to destroy these enemies here, so to make our, uh, our ride over there a little bit easier. Jump onto the balloon, and grabbed it. And fell off the trash can as a result, but that's okay, because we got the token. And that's what matters. Alright, so that's all we can do in this level. Like I said, you can also get the 50 coins for ham if you want to. But I don't really want to right now, so we're going to worry about that later. And we are going to have to backtrack to this level later on. Which, we'll cross that road when we get there. For now, we're done with this video pretty much. In the next video, we're going to be heading to the next level of the game... Which you'll see when the the game saves. <laughs> uh, called Slime Time, which is where the next boss battle is going to take place. See you then, everyone.